Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. So today we're gonna do evening, <coughs> excuse me, devotion. So welcome to Monday evening devotion. Per usual, we're going to be reading our Jesus Listens book. Um, you can purchase it on Amazon. The author is Sarah Young. So y'all should know the drill by now. I know I've been. I haven't done it for a few days, but it should still be a memory in your brain. We're going to read the passages first. Then I am going to read the scriptures that's associated with the passage. If you have not prayed, we can take a moment to do so. But you should be ashamed because the day is almost over. Let, let's take a moment to go ahead and get it out the way for you. We, we, uh huh. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. All right, y'all, we back. Let's go ahead and get into the devotion. <clears throat> oh, God, my throat. Okay. So, it's what, the 18th, and we are going to get started. So, dearest Jesus, how wonderful it is to know that you are taking care of me. When I'm spending time with you, enjoying the warmth and security of your loving presence, it's easier to trust that every detail of my life is under your control. The Bible affirms that everything fits into a plan for good for those who love you and are called according to your design and purpose. <clears throat> because the world is in such an an abnormal excuse me, an abnormal fallen condition, it sometimes feels as if chance is governing the universe. Events seem to happen randomly with little or no apparent meaning but you show me that when i view the world this way i'm overlooking a most important fact the limitations of my understanding submerged beneath the surface of the visible world there are mysteries too profound for me to fathom if i could actually see how close you are to me and how constantly you work on my behalf i would never again doubt your wonderful care of me but your word instructs me to live by faith and not by sight. Please help me to trust in your mysterious, majestic presence. In your magnificent name, amen. That was good. That was a good one. That was a good word. So let's go ahead and move on to the scriptures. The first scripture is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Again, it's going to be Romans chapter 8, verse 28. The second scripture <clears throat> is going to be Job chapter 42, <coughs> excuse me, chapter 42, verse 3. Job chapter 42, verse 3. The third scripture is going to be 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Again, that's going to be 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. The last scripture is going to be 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. Again, that's going to be 2 Corinthians, <clears throat> excuse me, chapter 5, verse 7. That was, that concludes Monday evening devotion. I hope you all had an amazing, amazing day. <coughs> yeah. Let's pray. Let's pray for my throat, champ. But I hope you all had an amazing, amazing day and did not allow any negativity to come into your world today, to come into your mind, to disrupt any positive thoughts that you had going on within your day. I hope you remembered that you're in control of the energy um, that you allow around yourself, in control of the the type of energy that you allow, the type of vibes that you allow, all of it. You're in control of all of that. So, have an amazing evening. Bye. See you in the next video.